how to use Bright Daily Planner app to boost your productivity. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video we're going to be talking about Bright Daily Planner app and how you can use this amazing app to boost your productivity in the easiest, most simplest way possible. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now, when it comes to Bright Daily Planner app, obviously it's an application. So there's functionality is mainly based on your iPhone or iPad, okay? But you can also see some functionalities on your desktop platforms as well, okay? And first of all, I'm going to be discussing a bit about the desktop platform, but then later on, I'm also going to be discussing it on my iPhone as well. So to start things off, let's go ahead and get into the pricing. You know, let's actually discuss all the pricings that it has. Now, it has two different uh, things going on for yourself. So first of all, there's Bright Free, which is the free version. And then there's Bright Premium, where you can unlock all the features and boost your actual productivity. OK, so you can choose whatever plan works best for you. They both have great features. OK, so I'm going to just go ahead and sign in. OK. Now, I already have an account, but uh, you can obviously create one for yourself as well. It's really simple. Trust me. So obviously, I'm going to go ahead and uh, write my email. There we go. And after that, we are going to put in our password. It's really simple and really easy stuff to add in, as I stated. And once you put all of that in, you're going to click on sign in. And what that will do is it will sign you up in the easiest, most simplest way as well. You can also sign in with your Apple ID, by the way, which is uh, also a pretty great way to sign yourself up with the Bright app. OK, and once we do that, let's start going ahead and start discussing the features and let's start discussing on how we're actually going to, you know, make planners for ourselves and how we're going to actually help ourselves through these planners to boost our actual productivity. OK. So to start things off, let's uh, discuss the uh, general, you know, layout of things. OK, so this is the general layout. OK, over here, you can see you can get your calendar. OK, where you can switch days and stuff. So obviously today, as we can see, it's August 2nd, the Wednesday of 2023. Now, over here, we can first of all see our habits. So these are our habits, you know, take a walk, go to the gym, drink water, meditate. So you can obviously add more to habits, first of all. Now, you can add jogging to your habit, okay? And once you do that, first of all, you can put in a description. You can choose the days you want to add it to. So best strike, one, efficiency, 0%, completed, zero, okay? So you can, first of all, choose the amount of how many repetitions you want. So let's say I want to, you know, jog three times. Then there's a reminder. So you can choose a reminder for someday. Let's say I want to choose a reminder for tomorrow. OK, then you can put up tags. You can ask it to repeat it every day if you want to. I have it on that. You can choose a very good color for this. You can keep it on priority. OK, and once you do that, click on save. And what that will do is, as you can see, it puts up jogging into your day. Now, as you can see, once you start taking things, it's going to start telling you that, OK, yes, good. You've actually done these things. So that's a starter off. That's the most basic concept of Bright Daily Planner app. OK, it basically allows you to keep up tasks for yourself and then you can one by one go ahead and check mark those tasks that, yes, I've done these. Like, let's say it's uh, there's take a walk. OK, so we have to start our day with taking a walk. Now you're going to wake up in the morning. You're going to set a reminder. OK, now. You're going to go in reminder. You're going to go in time. We're obviously going to wake up in the morning in like, let's say 530. We're going to set a reminder for 530 that, OK, I need to take a walk. Now, once you get the reminder, what's going to happen? You're going to go ahead and take a walk and you're going to take this. And there we go. That's done for the day. Good to go. Then you're going to set up a reminder to go to the gym and you're going to do the same with drink water, meditate, jogging and all that. So those are basically your daily habits that you can complete. So obviously, let me just go ahead and complete all of these so we can get there. We go. Now, all that is completed. Now, let's switch up to work. OK, now here are your daily work habits. OK, now you can add different, you know, variants in work. So let's say I'm going to add uh, coding. You know, let's say because uh, I work in the field of coding, you can add a coding task. OK, and then you can add more tasks as well. And you can set up, you know, different times for it. 
You can set up a timer for how long I'm working for coding. You can set up a schedule for it. Same as the habits up here. And then once you're done with something, you're going to add it. Good. You're good to go. You can also make notes. You can see quotes of the day. You know, may you live all the days of your life. You know, pretty great stuff. So this is basically the basic things you can do, which is basically helping yourself create tasks and then setting a schedule time for those tasks and then finally completing those tasks. So basically that boosts your productivity a lot because it helps you to do your tasks on time and then also helps you to not over exceed your time. So pretty great. Then obviously you can come in tasks, you can get a uh, Kanban view, which is a table view where you can, you know, switch different things like let's say uh, you want to add something new in your private tasks, add something new in your goals. So, you know, these are different views that you can get for your tasks in my day. Then there's notes that you can make. So obviously this is a note that Bright gave you itself, but you can add new notes by just click on add. And I'm going to, you know, write something like uh, test note. And then you're going to go ahead into your description and start writing. Hi, this is my first time using bright and then just go ahead and start making notes for yourself pretty great stuff isn't it then obviously if you were to head back out there you can see your test note has been saved and obviously there's calendars where you can set different schedules up in your calendars by clicking on add there's different projects that you can mess around with so yeah pretty easy and amazing stuff to discuss about isn't it so yeah, that's mostly all the features there are when it comes to discussing Bright Daily Planner on your laptop or desktop. Now, let's go ahead and switch over to our mobile devices. Now that we are in our iPhone app, let's discuss more about the features. Okay, so first of all, let me just show you the iPhone app. Here you can see there's Bright. It's going to look somewhat like that, so you're going to open it up. And once you sign everything up, it's going to look a bit like this. So mainly, as I told you, Bright was made to be a mobile phone app, okay? And it's specifically made for your iPhone, iPad, or iPod, okay? So basically only for Apple devices. So, okay, to start with the features, first of all, let's go and see this part. So this is your basic, you know, uh, list dashboard where you can scroll through the different features and things. So as we saw on the on the desktop, here's your my day. OK, and your my day is all of your uh, tasks, habits and everything you're going to do for one day. OK, so obviously, as we can see on Wednesday 2nd, which is today, we add our habits, which we completed on our desktop. Then there's work. OK, so if I do that, there we go. Now you can add more things in work as well. As you can see, I'm going to add in meeting. Okay. And once we add in meeting, you can obviously go ahead and mess with the settings of meetings. So once you come here, you can add subtasks in meetings as well. So I'm going to click on subtasks, uh, initiate call, for example, then I'm going to add another subtask, um, invite team members. There we go. Then we're going to you know, discuss plans for future. And then you're going to you know, add something like propose idea for new, let's say, product. And obviously, it's your job to keep on adding these things. And then you can also mess around with the settings, as I stated. You know, you can set reminders for yourself. So let's say on the 3rd of August, which is tomorrow. OK, we're going to set this for tomorrow to time in 30 minutes. OK. And you can add tags like uh, this is extremely crucial. OK, so let's add crucial. It's extremely crucial. So we're going to add this tag. Then there's repeat. You can repeat on specific days. So let's say we want to repeat this every Thursday and I'm going to click on save. Then there's colors. You can obviously choose colors, as I stated on the desktop. And there's priority. Let's keep it on vital and very crucial priority. And there's difficulty. You know, how difficult is this task for me? Let's say it's hard. It's a hard task because there's a lot of things to do. How much focus do I need to put on it? So obviously we can time ourselves on how much time we actually want to put up on this. So that's also a good way to manage your time accordingly or properly. And then there's location. If there's any location to this task, you can put that in. And once you're done with all the nitty gritty details, you're going to do done. And there you go. You have your meeting set up. So obviously. 30 minutes before this meeting, I'm going to get a notification on my phone telling me that, hey, your meeting is up. 
So are you going to avail it or not? So obviously we're going to open the app and I'm going to go over to my meeting and uh, you're obviously going to go ahead and see the subtasks. As you can see, you start getting timed. And then once you're through with all the subtasks, mm -hmm. you're just going to do that. And there you go. Your meeting is done. Then moving on, obviously, there's private tasks that you can add, like, let's say, water the plants, for example. You're going to add in that. You can add more walk the dog. Let's say get gift for friend. Call mom. You know, you just add tasks that are necessary for you. So these are basically private tasks. These are the tasks that are different from your daily habits and your daily work. So, you know, water the plants, walk the dog. So once you water the plants, you can go ahead and walk the dog. And then once you've done all of this, you can just go ahead, check mark them. And once you check mark all these tasks, yeah, basically you're going to be starting to, you know, actually get productive and make things easier for yourself. Then there's obviously notes. In the notes, as I stated, uh, let's, you know, go ahead and make a note. So what I did today. So you can go ahead. Uh, I started off with my daily habits and completed them. I missed, you know, jogging, but no worries. I'll complete that tomorrow. So, you know, you can start making notes like these to, you know, get yourself adjusted with the time. And then there's obviously diary. You can uh, make a diary for yourself. So, or read a diary, you know, there's the mood check diary. So what's your mood today? Let's say we are in a good mood today. Okay. And we're going to click on continue. What affected your mood? Let's say my hobbies, you know, running affected my mood a lot. What is important to you today? So let's say to you today is um, calling my mom is very important. Okay, I'm going to do that. What's on your mind? I wanted to, let's say, uh, brainstorm on what gift to buy for my friend. Let's say I'm going to do that complete. And then once you do that, you can add an icon or cover. And there you go. You just created your very own diary. And there you go. So mood check. What is your mood today? What affected your mood? What is important to you today? What's on your mind? You know, you have all these things and pretty great stuff. Then you can obviously do the same for next day. You can keep on going on the next day, next day. Let's say I'm going to set a schedule for the fifth. So edit main screen. Discover mini apps that expands Bright's functionality. These are going to be your main screen. So let's say I'm going to go with our work tasks. And this is going to add our work tasks to our main screen. So let me show you what it's going to look like. So if you come back here and go to our main screen, obviously it's going to add those work tasks in our main screen over here. So look at that. These are all the work tasks that are going to be added to our main screen. Same with the habits. You can add new habits for yourself if you want to. Like, uh, let's say uh, you want to learn some type of language or you want to say learn English. Let's go on this and let's change it up. Learn, let's say, French. And we're going to click on save. And, you know, you can just keep on changing habits. You can add more habits for yourself. And once you're done with all of them, you can just go ahead, click on done. There you go. Obviously, this is for a schedule I set three days from now. So you can just, you know, change things for yourself. You can add new tasks, new private tasks. You can add goals. You can add exposes and a whole lot of other things. So pretty great and amazing stuff when it comes to discussing things with the app. And then obviously there's your private space as well. Okay. Now, what is the private space of your, you know, thing? So you can add different spaces, which are your private space, which are only available to your eye. Okay. So that's also pretty great, a pretty amazing thing to have. And then moving further on, obviously, if we go into settings in the settings, you can also mess around with the different things. So first of all, there's general and in general, you can set different things. You can set your currency, so you set your time format. You can set your time zone, obviously, because uh, I live in a different time zone and I don't want it to tell me the time according to, you know, uh, the other time zone. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, obviously change your time zone to a place where you're more affiliated or close to. And what that will do is obviously, you know, the schedule you set, we don't want it to give us our time according to Los Angeles or something like that, obviously. Then you're going to set in your metrics if you want to. You can also set a password. Like, let's say someone wants to, you know, get into your daily planner app. You don't want that. So you can mess around with that. 
You can turn on dark mode for yourself if you want to. So it's also a pretty good feature. As you can see, dark mode helps you with, you know, the better viewing. You can add extensions like setting up a password, Google Calendar and all that. And then you can also customize your menu. So this is your menu, which uh, you can change. So, you know, here are your insights. In the insights, you can also get your Pomodoro techniques and all that. So pretty great and amazing stuff. And as I told you, these are all your basic tasks. So yeah, that's basically all there is when it comes to discussing your Bright Daily Planner app. Okay, I showed you its functionalities on your desktop and I also showed the functionalities on the phone. Okay, so the main functionalities are to work on the phone, but you can also access it on desktop. It's pretty great, pretty amazing stuff. You mainly get your notifications on your phone. So yeah, uh, basically that's about it when it comes to discussing your Bright Daily Planner app, okay? And I hope you found this tutorial helpful, which because I showed the functionalities both on phone and desktop, which should give you a broadened spectrum of how things work. So yeah, that's basically about it. Now, if you watched the video till the end and found it helpful, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you wanna see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make more for you. But yeah, that's basically about it. Thank you for watching till the end and I'll see all of you wonderful people next time. Goodbye.